Hey guys, welcome to a few days in my life as a medical lab scientist. I'm just drinking some tea before I have to get dressed. I don't know what department I'm gonna be scheduled for tonight, but I bet you it's gonna be chemistry because I always end up over there for monthly maintenance and coincidentally that's tonight. So I have a strong feeling that I'm gonna be scheduled for chemistry.
All right, so I am back from Daria's veterinarian appointment and I got her vaccinations updated for the next year. And then they uh, drew blood from her and did lab tests. So I was like, well, what lab tests y'all doing? You know, you know, what lab tests y'all doing? And so they screen for ehrlichiosis, they screen for Lyme disease, and they screen for heartworm, which is really interesting. So that's a relief knowing that she's negative for everything, which I expected, um, at least for heartworm, because she's not really around other dogs that much. Yeah, then they did a fecal exam, which I'm assuming after they swabbed her butt, they looked at it under the microscope for eggs and that stuff. So that was negative. And then I I did have a concern for her breath <laughs> because it stank. Like, and I've never really had a dog that had bad breath, so I don't really know how to deal with it. And it's just something that has worsened <laughs> since I've gotten her. And I've tried the toothpaste because let me show you. She has this current toothpaste. I tried another toothpaste prior to this one. I've tried the water additives, the bones for their breath. Like nothing works. It's all just a temporary fix. And I'm just like, what is going on with this dog? So I was mainly taking her to the vet with a concern of her breath, but everything else got done as well. So that was good. You know, I tried all these things and the vet was just like, well, some dogs just got sticky breath. So I asked if I should do an appointment to get like a dental cleaning for her. And he was, he was just like, no, she don't have no tartar buildup. It's not gonna do anything. So just got a dog with stinky breath. <laughs> um, the vet tech recommended me to get a water additive called Tropiclean Fresh Breath. So I might go order it online. It's only $13. And the veterinarian recommended a dental rinse called Vetiquinol Denahex. But I'm gonna try both of them at this point because I don't know what to do with this dog breath. <laughs> it's steak and she be killing me with it. So I'm already sensitive to smells. So I was just thinking that something was really wrong with her, but no, he said just continue using her dog toothpaste. She's healthy and normal, she just got stinky breath. So yeah. On another note, my, oh, you can't even see me. My outdoor plants are going crazy. Look at this. <laughs> this is a banana tree. Two of them actually. And look at the size of the leaves <laughs> compared to my hand. They're so big. And they're loving this location. And I'm just concerned about the, oh. She busted her soccer ball. Look at her poop. I'm concerned about the winter time, what I'm gonna do to kind of help them go dormant, but yeah. And over here is my Monstera that I had inside. It was like two leaves last year, I promise you. And I put it inside in the window and it just hated it, it just died out. So I was like, well, let me just put it outside and it went crazy. I don't know what to do with it now, so it just sits outside. <laughs> it probably needs a trim, but. Honestly, I don't wanna, I'm worried about what to do with it in winter time as well. And I also have this ponytail palm, which it'll probably be okay to go inside. It'll be okay to go inside, this one will. But look how thick it is. Girl, she just wanna play. Can you drop it? Oh, bless you. Drop it. Season change really messes with my allergies, so I can't really spend a lot of time outside. At the moment, this beta fish that I'm keeping in my kitchen, it's just too, um, it's gonna be too cold going into the next few months. So I wanted to make sure that he had a way of being able to stay warm and cozy through the fall. And then lastly, oh yeah, and then I got this hammock. It was only $2, but it's a hammock for the beta fish that they can lay in like during the day. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then lastly, I got this butterfly PT, which is supposed to turn blue when you um, steep the leaves. 
so that's interesting. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna try it out later. But um, yes, let's see if I can get this heater hooked up. I've He's really active. That's funny. He's looking at me right now. <laughs> um, he's so beautiful though. Beautiful color. He's like laying in the plant <laughs> roots. <laughs> I'll show you. He was, but he's not anymore, of course. Now that the camera's on him. I'm going to try this butterfly PT. It's supposed to turn blue once it seeps, and then I'm gonna try something that I seen online about changing the colors of the teeth. really did turn pink. Whoa, I wonder what it tastes like. 
but that tastes nasty. That tastes gross. But it looks cool. It's changing colors as I drink it. <laughs> That's so weird. Oh, and it got the nerve to turn back blue. Look at this, it's so freaking pretty. I'm gonna mix it with this sleepy time tea so I can go to bed. Oh, I'm making a mess. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Let me do this over the sink. <laughs> oh, look how purple it got. It's so weird. Well, all right, y'all. I am going to drink my sleepy time tea so that I can go to bed because I still gotta go to work tonight. And I will see y'all tomorrow. show you what I'm going to pack for lunch. So this is my lunch box. Um, I bring Skinny Pop, a Cliff Bar, a fruit cup, a cheese, mozzarella stick, and I alternate between either Mio Energy or meal sport, just depending on if I'm getting sleepy or if I just haven't drank enough water for the day. So I alternate between these two. And then lastly, I have a breakfast bar just for when I get off of work. I'm usually hungry in the morning time after I clock out, so I just eat this on the way home. Trying to be more healthy. So I bought this carrot and ginger juice by Natalie's orchard um honestly it's not that good but i'm gonna try to make myself drink it tonight <laughs> i mean it tastes fine it's just i'm i don't know i don't like carrots like that but i need to start eating more vegetables and so i figured the one way i can do it is to drink them so i'm trying my best <laughs> i'm trying my best i'm gonna try to drink this at break but um yeah this is what my lunch consists of every day it's been that way since the last 10 months that I've been working. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to watch some Netflix on my iPad and drink the rest of my tea. And then I'm gonna head to work and I'll see y'all later.
All right, so I'm back home and it's been several hours because I went to sleep, but it's time for me to meal prep for the week and I have an idea of what I want to eat, but honestly, I'm just going to be throwing some stuff together because I don't feel like cooking. <laughs> I don't feel like cooking. Let's see what we can do. Just in case I forget to do the outro, thank you guys so much for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more med lab science content. I will see you guys next time. <laughs>